Okay, now that we have everything working, everything's plugged in, I picked up, uh, got a monitor from downstairs, plugged it in since I don't have my, my monitors here, they're at school. Got a keyboard and mouse, plug that in, and we're going to see if everything boots up, and if not, we're going to troubleshoot it and go into the BIOS. Let's plug, push the power button. And again, huh. like I said, this is, um, I'm keeping this on video for a reason, that I made a very big mis uh, fail. You'd be surprised how many people forget to plug in the power cable. I've done this multiple times. And then you kind of like check everything else, and then you find out it's the power cable. Okay, try this again. Voila. Voila, how you pronounce that? Very quiet sound right now. Go ahead. No beeps so far. Oh, there you go. That's good. You want that beep. And then you see the monitor turn on. Fortunately, I couldn't get a um, LCD monitor. This is all we had downstairs for my dad's old computer downstairs. Who you know it says reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media to select and press the key. Since the monitor was asleep, I didn't get to see everything else, so press the reset button, make sure that works. Usually delete. Yep, see right here? Delete. Uh, that will flash up real quick. It'll see easily be better than a CRT. But you see right here, I don't know why it's not very bright. Give me just a little in focus. Okay. You see right here, system time, make sure that's correct. It is definitely 519, Wednesday, February 14, 2012. Um, see, I plugged these in in weird ports. I plugged that in the fifth port the hard drive and I plugged the DVD drive in the third. You might want to change that depending. Um, I probably will because I'm, most, I'm OCD about this stuff. So I'll change the hard drive to the first and the DVD drive which is good and I don't know how I got keep it on the third. Find whatever one's the first. Um, and then hard drive right here, M4 um, solid state drive. You can tell by um, the names. You'll have to make sure you kind of know your drive well. It says DVD RAM right here, so you know what drives are what. All these are 6 gigabit SATA ports, um, so that's good to know. Um, and by the way, I'm using a wireless keyboard as well. I would assume you already know how to hook everything up as well. If you can get far enough to install the computer, you know what a USB port is and everything else. Otherwise, you really shouldn't be building your own computer if you don't know how to plug in a USB port or a monitor into your computer. You should buy a pre-built computer first and learn from there. GPU power saving use iGPU power assumption idle mode. Imagine stuff like this you go is pretty straightforward and yeah. I would want this computer to be lower power. Um enhance GPU step speed. Um just put on auto. I think with the power maybe will keep it toned down because I don't need anything fancy on this. And most everything auto is good. See, it says come CPU overclocking, auto, and that will just automatically target CPU frequency. It says at 3 gigahertz right now. I'm going through this stuff. What I would ask in forums about overclocking: don't try anything by yourself before you look up. Like and make sure to give people all your components, and they will tell you what's good and what's not good for what heat sink you have. You can add overclock a little, but not much on stock heat sinks. You have all these. I'm not going to go into detail what all these stuff, all this stuff means. Some of it, I still don't know what it means. Like CPU VDDA voltage is something for the CPU voltage. And it helps overclocking, but every, since everything's on auto and we're keeping that stock, it's all we need to know. And CPU configuration, quieting cools, and all the stuff. Virtual machine mode. Uh, Secure virtual machine just tells you on the right over here. All this and uh, just core activation. You can turn off cores you don't like. It's set first core. Um, 
corn locker, I'm gonna make a video separately how to enable this. Um, that's not gonna be part of this tutorial how to build your computer, but things, um, stuff like that. You just go through and you can kind of look at stuff. Look at the hardware monitor and see your motherboard temperature. That's cool. At a nice 84 degrees, my room's um, 74 degrees right now. It feels hotter in here because it's been closed up, but the computer's running. Um, CPU temperatures at a 42 degrees could be better. The thermal compound's probably gonna break in some, so that's gonna cool off eventually. So expect that to cool off some. And you see fan speeds, um, voltages. And if you really start getting the overclocking, you want to pay attention to all these voltages. And make sure your V core right there is your CPU um, voltage. Um, and all this stuff. And your fan speed, you can enable um, Q fan is the is this fan speed on the CPU. Um, and you can limit like how slow that goes for quietness and stuff like that. And then you can go over here and change it to standard, trigger, silent, all of these things. I'm just going to leave everything standard for right now. Boot, boot device priority, since um, we're going to be booting up from this, I'm actually going to go move over here so you can see. I've got power to the DVD drive, just like that. I have a. I have my keys over here. I have a disk of Windows 7. This is from my school. I guess they just downloaded it from Microsoft and everything is I get it cheaper there so that's um, uh, save my parents some money it's twelve dollars versus I think I saw recently on sale for eighty so typically maybe a hundred dollars for windows or uh, you can um, download it or um, um, buy it off new egg tiger direct wherever you can best buy um, wherever you find it you can, you can get it um, then get that in there boot priority uh, you don't want removable disk you want to go to here to make sure your um, SATA drive is the first one. And so when you install your operating system, which should be the next video after this, um, you're gonna uh, boot right to your SATA drive instead of like it's gonna pop up the thing. Please insert boot device, and it's not gonna be there. And so then we're gonna go to um, bring your CD drive to your. Um, this is gonna be just a plus arrow key. And that will go up. You just read this things over here. I'll tell you how to move stuff. And now I screwed it up again. Um, not this down. Yep. No. Can't even get it right. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Setter drive is your first, and CD-ROM is your second, and then removable device is your third root, which would be like a flash drive, for instance. Um, and then I'm just gonna press F10, or you can press Escape and say um, Save or whatever. F10 is Save and save that. Go in the boot, which um, boots different. Hopefully I can read it real quick. I don't. But I was set up boot menu. I don't know if that's at F10. Yep. Now we're loading Windows. Um, now we're going to skip on to the next video, how to load Windows. If you have any questions, comment below, and thanks for watching.